go all the way down. My name is Paul Diedrich with the Vespa Fire Department. I hold the position of captain, and today I'm in charge of the silo rescue scenario. We're taking groups and we're going over the safety aspects of silo rescue, dangers related to silo rescue, primarily the elevations that we have to deal with, the climbing issues, the silo gas, and any mechanical devices that are used on the silo, and how to operate around all that and detect certain gases that may be present. My name is Kevin Krug. I'm in charge of the inside operations of the silo rescue. Inside the silo, we have harnesses on, so we have ropes that are rigged up to safely descend down the chute of the silo. If someone were to be on the level of where the hay and silage sits, we take the patient using a harness system down the side of the silo. We're just learning how to do basic rigging for hoisting patients. And then a lot of it is just general information and getting ideas of what you're going to need to deal with an actual silo rescue. These incidents don't happen every day, but when they do, they require a lot of your local departments to even help assist with some of the equipment. Not all of their apartments in this area carry the equipment that we have or even the aerial ladder, or just even the vehicles that we need to bring. You'll require many fire departments and EMS units to even do one single victim rescue. So it's important to train on it because it's just a very low frequency event. It'll prepare firefighters to recognize the situations that they have in front of them, what resources they're gonna need. Every farm is different, they're laid out differently, they operate differently, and just having a basic understanding and being able to go out to these farms and seeing what they have, how they operate, is very beneficial. So if we do have to come out, we have an idea of what we're gonna be getting into at any given scenario. As a firefighter, you might not know what hazards lie on a farm if you never grew up on a farm. It's just a totally different environment. Like an industrial environment has its hazards, pinch points. A farm has many of those same hazards, but it's something that isn't taught in schools all the time. It's something that you have to actually go to each person's farm, because a lot of farmers set up their farms differently than the next farmer does. So there's a lot of intricate areas that we need to get to know.